What is going on, guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2 Elder Kings and King Grum of Winterhold, an 84-year-old man who has achieved many things in his life. Just to name a few, he's one of, if not the most powerful mage in all of Tamriel. He is a renowned warrior and a master of the voice. And so people are wondering, like, you know, what is there left to do for this guy? Obviously, the goal of this campaign is to become the High King of Skyrim. And I definitely want to do that. And I would not, absolutely not mind uh, to achieve that as Grom. But from an in-character perspective, I don't think Grom, you know, pursues that. I don't think that he actually actively tries to be to unite Skyrim necessarily. Um, just as a reminder here, even though Winterhold has grown significantly under Grom's rule, most of this was not through outright conquest. Now, we did conquer our... We, we did go to war with Eastmarch to conquer territories belonging to the Winterhold Duchy, but that was only after these vassals threatened us, so that was kind of the whole point. And we then kind of showed dominance. Uh, also, a lot of our vassals attacked. Uh, one of our vassals actually took Windhelm. We didn't take that ourselves. Um, with Whiterun, we basically just declared war on Hao Jingla because they rejected our marriage alliance. That was actually the whole point. We we're pissed off about this. And other than that, um, we basically just expanded diplomatically. Most of these northern provinces and a lot of the provinces to the south, we just accepted vassalization. I didn't conquer anything. The only real conquests we had were here way to the west against the Reachmen. And I think this is where uh, Grom's purpose is. He, I think he wants to eradicate the Reachmen. Um, just get rid of them. They're our religious enemy and uh, we want them gone, basically. And uh, they're actually the only people, as I said, we have really fought. Uh, with the exception of the two um, Nordic houses that have kind of rivaled us, East March and uh, White Tran. So, um, yeah, so basically our goal in for the coming years will be to take out the, the Reachmen to the south here. That's our first focus because they're in the Skyrim province. And once we've dealt with them, we're actually going to um, conquer ter ter territory of the High Rock and take out the Reachmen here as well. But then I think we're actually done with conquest. Uh, that's really all, all we want. And I think by that time, Grum is likely going to die as well. But even though I don't want to go for the ritual of immortality for religious reasons, mostly, I think that we still want to try and live for as long as possible, obviously. So we want to improve our health. We have some traits that help us with this, for example, strong. And once we've you know, once we've dealt with these wars for, for the most part, I also want to maybe switch back to the um, hunting focus that gives us an extra health as well. But I kind of want to finish our wars first before I do that. But yeah, uh, other than uh, having traits and stuff like that, we can also cast some spells. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, we can actually, you know what we can do? Let's open the spell book because we have several spells at our disposal. One thing I could do right now is actually discern health, which would basically um, show us our current health. Uh, it's going to cost one magic. I think that's fine. And then I will make a decision. Uh, actually, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's cast that spell and then we'll make a decision. Uh, we'll plan out from there. Okay, so use mysticism magic to discern your target's health. Cast a spell. I've learned that my target's health was between 8 and 9. Okay, that's actually pretty high. That's pretty high. Because I think the base health of CK2 characters is 5. Um, so, eight between 8 and 9. Now, I don't know if this is on the lower end or the higher end. Uh, it could be 8.9 or 8.1. So, that's actually quite a significant difference. But, either way, we know this. Um, okay, that's good to know. And I think... Regardless, we are going to actually fortify our health just to make sure that we um, can see our ambition through to deal with the rich man. So yeah, fortified health will cast. Uh, we don't have a math. We don't have enough magicka to cast a strong version of the spell. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use up the nine magicka for this, and we're gonna have a moderate uh, a moderate version of the spell. I think it hasn't updated yet. Oh, there it has. Okay, so let's quickly check this out. So this is plus two health. So now our health should be between 
10 and 11, which is very huge. So I think we're easily going to survive the next 10 years. Okay, so this lasts for 10 years. Got to keep that in mind. So I think for the next 10 years, unless we're being assassinated or something, uh, we're, we're pretty much fine. All right, so yeah, that's the first thing I wanted to mention. Then next up, um, some other things. I obviously, in between episodes, I have uh, some time to check out our realm a little bit more in detail. And so I see when we need to upgrade some stuff. So for now, we've got so much money saved up. We might as well upgrade our barracks here. Since, you know, this is going to give us levy and garrison size and extra troops, which we'll need uh, in our wars to come. Uh, a constant wars with the Reachmen. Constant conflicts. So yeah, that's one thing we'll do. I'm also going to upgrade this tribal stronghold. We would, you know, we need to upgrade this to level f 4, um, which really, I mean, is super expensive. And I don't think we have the technology for this, but I'm going to get it started just because I want most of my realm to be feudal at some point. So might as well spend the 50 gold. We have enough money for that, so no problem there. All right, so that was the things I wanted to do. And then, uh, right, hold on. Let me cross some of these things out because I might forget. Um, boost the health and build the barracks. There you go. And um, I, right, I wanted to appoint some more people to, or give out more t minor titles, right. So um, I'm finally able to appoint a court musician because thanks to your tip, um, I've, Damn, I can't say your name, but you kn you know who you are. Uh, thank you for telling me that a character can only have two lifestyle traits. So Debella has the Master's of Doctor's trait, and I've given her the Musician trait. I just think those fit the best. And you'll also notice here that Debella now has the Possessed trait, um, and that is because uh, of of Julia's um, well, the 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 person. Um, Julia writing some really nice stories accompanying these episodes and uh, so she's she's talked about or she's written about how the old queen Julia has possessed or has has taken possession part partly at, at least um, of this this new Altmer uh, courtier that we have um, so yeah you can actually read that out it's it's better than when I explain it um, either way the Bella is uh, is a bit possessed, but and um, because she has you know parts of our old queen in her, I feel like that uh, Grum is very attracted to her. Not not only because of that, obviously there's there's many of other many other reasons as well, but um, very attracted to her, and we want her to be around us. So court musician is one uh, post that would fit, and the other one is actually cupbearer. You know, we just kind of I think Grum just feels good having Debella in his company. So let me appoint her. Oh, we can't actually. We can't make a cupbearer. That's interesting. I thought for sure we could. All right. Well, that's a bummer. Um, all right. Well, no problem. A food taster. I don't think we are afraid of someone poisoning us, so I'm, I'm not going to appoint someone there. Uh, Huskals, though, I would like to give out some of these titles, and I want to give this to people that have the companion bloodline. So uh, Hargrod, our... Uh, vassal and master of the blade then we have some others we've got baldur the thane of snowhog there you go and then and we've got a few more we've got verna our father-in-law there you go you're gonna get that position as well and then there's one left now we could pick our wife uh but i don't know that just feels kind of weird is if our wife is our bodyguard it's just eh. Uh, we could pick this 50-year-old woman. I mean, she is... She does have the companion bloodline. Mm, this guy's a master knight. Uh, he's even older. What's his combat scale? 12? Hers, 5. Um, What is your combat scale? Just... Okay, yeah, it's... Oh, you're pregnant. Right. That reduced your combat scale. It makes sense. What about this dude? 6. Hmm... Hmm. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe you. Maybe our granddaughter. She does have the dragon blood. You know what? And she does have a lot of martial. I think you will get this as well. Court architect. Uh, I'm maybe just going to give this one out as well. Now I think about it. Our, yeah, Thane of Orothime. 
there you go. You're going to be our court architect. And I'm going to leave the fruit taster open for now, as well as the cupbearer. I, I don't really mind uh, all that much at the moment. Okay, so those are the minor titles. Finally gotten around to giving these guys out. It's been taking me a while. Uh, I've got to keep, uh, keep an eye on that. Also going to close the spell book for now. We don't have any magicka anyways. So there's no point. And yeah, what else did I want to do? Right, now speaking of uh, Hoskals and companions, I think we have been focused on war so many times. We should be joining the companions guild now. We have first joined the mages guild and learned everything we could basically. Became battle mage and legendary mage. We've joined the Greybeards, learned the Thum, and I think now we just kind of want to focus on fighting our war against the Reachmen. Maybe the Reachmen are our Snow Elves. I could see that. So we're going to join them here. Yep. And we are now a new blood. Now, if we have a quick look at the members here, we have some, some people that we already know. We have, for example, our grandson. He's already in here and he's uh, the rank of a shield brother. We're likely going to surpass him very quickly just because we're so amazing. But... Yeah, that's good. And we also have our granddaughter here. She's already captain of the circle. So pretty high up there. Um, so she's our Huskar that actually fits quite well. Okay, so this is all good. Um, what else did I want to do? Uh, right, I actually wanted to have Dibella join a thing as well. I want her to join the Scenarist Guild, which is... Uh, yeah, which is the Guild of arts I guess so I think that kind of fits her and this gives her an opportunity to improve her skills as well and just it's just really a nice um, feature of this mod so I love that so we're definitely gonna add this as well and um, yeah now I guess what we'll do is we'll continue our wars here now I don't think I can declare war on this guy because we still have a truce but I can actually duel him kill him and that should reset the truce, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And also, someone has asked me what happened to our retinue, and I actually don't know. Our retinue just kind of disappeared, so I'm going to rebuild it. And I think I want mages, so we're going to go for battle mages. We can only build one, and I think that's it. I'm just going to build the 100 battle mages. The light cavalry would be nice, or maybe even the heavy cav, but I think we want battle mages. It just... They seem to be the most powerful group, so I want them. Um, I want them as my uh, people here. All right, let's resign you. Anything else I can go for? I don't think so. We can actually uh, move on forward. Yeah, very good. Now, also, I mean to. Um, I mean to hold a feast once all the Reachmen are destroyed. And look at this guy. He's actually refused the duel. Coward. Well, that's a little bit annoying. I could truce break here. I'm not going to do this because uh, there's, I mean, there's no need. But um, yeah, uh, am I going to, let me see. Is this one duchy? Uh, that's unfortunately in two duchies. So there's no point in actually going for the Inquisition. So I'm just going to declare the conquest. And uh, yeah, send this. And then Sun God is your ally. But I might be able to just declare war on them as well. Perfect. So we're going to declare war on you two simultaneously. You would be joining against us anyways. So, yeah, no problem at all. And even though our vassals are slightly pissed off, I don't think we really care. So we are going to... Mm, ah, we have holy orders. Whoa, what? The Knights of Iron? Wait, that's so cool. And Resolute Templars of Stendar. You are Nordic and following the Eight Divides. Well, that's interesting. Hold on, we might be f we might be hiring you guys. This is a forebear. All right, you know what? I think it doesn't fit hiring these guys, but I think we're definitely going to hire the Nords. Yeah, for sure. I mean, okay, well, that's a hundred men. Are you for real? Okay, well, either way, we're gonna hire them. Um, we'll raise our own men as well from our own domain and I think that's actually enough 1,500 men is probably enough we are going to raise our friends troops as well because they are likely not going to be too upset about this so let's get you guys together let's actually get you guys together here and um, let's let's move on forward very good now we are likely going to lose a bit of money 
Um, you have usurped titles. Oh, why do we care? I don't know, actually. Um, anyways, so we have a son. A son was born. Oh, boy. He's strong, companion bloodline. He's Nord. He's sickly, interestingly. <sighs> Grom. Are we going to call him Grom? What was our father's name? Lokia. I think we're going to call him after our father. Because we're not, we're not that proud. We're not that proud, but our father was strong. Yeah, okay. Lokia is your... Actually, hold on. I think... Hold on. Didn't we already have a Lokia? Oh, yeah. Our first one was Lokia, actually. So, never mind. That would be a bit odd. What was our grandfather's? Holland. Wait, he was King of the Rift. Oh, interesting. Uh... Wait, if he's our grandfather... Oh, my mother was Kintira. Wait, what was your... What was your father's name? Oh, you didn't have a father. Lokia started a dynasty. Interesting. Um, okay, well, let's randomize then. Sifnar, Elinor, Hemming, Ruggie, Vidding. Oh, those are Osbird. Osbird. It just doesn't sound all that fitting. We could go for another Loki. I just find that stupid. Rorik, Thoring. No, Osbert doesn't... No. Uthrit. Vidgrod. Ragal. Ragal sounds kind of cool. I'm actually going to go with Ragal here. So there you go. And um, Ragal will come under the education of... Of... Um, Debella. Because she, she wants to educate him. That, uh, so basically that's her goal. She kind of, like, she wants to make him her lover or sort of thing. Maybe. Uh, we'll have to see. But, uh, she's gonna educate him. And, um, I, I see it as Grum doesn't really care about his children that much. As long as they're children, he doesn't really care. They're not useful to him right now. Um, and we're not necessarily a family person. And they're not Julia's kids. So, there's that. And so, we don't really care who educates them. And so, uh, Debella can do it. And he'll just get the struggle focus. And Debella will take care of him. And uh, teach him a thing or two. We'll see. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go back to focusing on our war. I'm still very surprised that, <laughs> that we're having um, more children. But, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, my cool physician is... Worried. Let's see what you can do to save our son. But I think it should be fine. I mean, he's strong, right? I mean, I, I could cast a spell as well. Um, I swear he's much more energetic than he was a couple of weeks ago. He might not be out of the woods quite yet, but the worst has passed. Alright, so he has uh, successful treatment. I mean, strong is giving, what? One health? So, he has negative half health, or 0.5. So, that's not too bad. He should be able to survive. Unfortunately, I can't cast any spells right now anyways. Uh, we have eight magicas. We're gonna have to wait a little bit. But, anyway, let's move on. We have two wolves to fight. Uh, Marshall has initiated a massive recruitment drive. That's very good. And my treasured rabbit has passed away. Okay, I don't think we care about that one. So, yeah. Not gonna be charitable for... A Rabid. Uh, but I do want to check out if we have a dog. We do. We d still have a dog and a horse. Okay, so that's all good. That's all good. Moving on then. You have received a new dog yourself. That's always nice. And we actually gotta... We're gonna move. Let's have you guys l be led by... Actually, yeah. I'm gonna have you... Sashani, lead the attack on these guys. You should be able to win. Uh, I'll give you some other command on the flank. I'm going to have one of my Huskals there. The Thane of Snowhawk. He'll join you. And Hagen has been taken as well. Okay, we got to be careful. There's, they might join forces here. Yeah, okay. Anyway, we have arrived. Mm. Oh, wow. Is this the... 
Oh yeah, that's interesting. Let me see if I can appoint him on this flank. I can. Very good. And then we'll lead the center. And then we'll have one another one of our Haskals on the flanks. There you go. 1,500. Let's move on. Maybe wait for our reinforcements. Just to be safe. Yep. Alright, the last 21 men as well. Very good. And there should be no problem taking out these guys. And you can actually start sieging. Should have enough men. So that's very good. Um, okay, yeah. We lost the siege there. That's no problem. We have become a better crusader. Okay, so so far we're currently a journeyman crusader. One martial, one intrigue. Three personal combat skill. And we get, look at this. We get extra damage against religious enemies. This is so good. So what does this do now? This is now given... 20% damage against religious enemies and personal combat skill 5. I really would love to know what our current combat skill is. It's just gotta be, I don't know, 50 or something? It's it's gonna be insane. Anyway, let's crush these guys real quick. We have improved once again, but we're already legendary, so we can't improve further. Alright. And Hagen has converted. Very good. That's some really good news, I think. Damn, actually, you know what? These three provinces are some of the fastest to convert to the uh, to the religion. So it's actually really good to have a religious vassal here. Um, because they seem to get a bonus to converting. So I love that. Because we're still trying to uh, reconvert the cultists over there. We have not been very successful. Um, anyway... All right, you guys have retaken this very quickly. Let's go to Bleakwind. I don't really... I think I'm not going to bother with their troops all that much. Uh, we'll just quickly take this back and move in here. Look at this. Our vassals are actually going to fight that. A good friend. Thane Tuck. Actually, I, I don't... Oh, yeah, that's that's his... That Those are his troops. Who's Thuck? Who's leading this? That's Verna. I don't know who's leading that. It, it doesn't really matter all that much. It's our vassals helping us. Okay, you're now known as the Cruel. That's not good. But, I mean, we're cruel too, so I don't think we really care. Need two more days. Okay, the assault is over. Let's offer the peace. Uh, very good. That was easy enough. And then we'll take Sun Guard as well. Should be no problem. Oh, are you independent now? Could I... Sun guard. Oh, you're married to... Oh, interesting. Did I just take your land away? Maybe. So we defeated you and you immediately joined your wife, which is honorable, but foolish at the same time. And futile as well. Alright, so 99%. Well, she's going to give in. Yeah, we win. Very good. We have usurped her title and she has now joined her husband. Very good. Well, for us, anyway. Okay, we can stand down our troops. We should have um, our retinue left. As well as the... Ho oh, the Holy Order was uh, released as well. Okay, so this is just our retinue now. Very good. Let's resign it. And I guess... Let's resign uh, Grom for now as well. And we'll keep our retinue maybe in this general area. And let me see what part... This is part of Bleakwind. Okay, so we could actually make a vassal here. It's all tribal holdings, which is a bit annoying. I could make this a county capital, though. Uh, let's actually do that. So, if I could create... I can't create the duchy. But then I could give this out and have another religious vassal here, which would actually help with conversion. But I'm going to look for a suitable candidate... Uh, in between episodes so far. That was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed and I will see you next time.